So you've been together with your romantic partner for a while now, but how do you know whether or not you're falling in love? In the initial stage of dating, it might be hard to pinpoint what your heart is telling you, and you may have a surge of mixed intense feelings all at once. You might be unsure of whether or not it's merely physical attraction, infatuation, or the real deal. Moreover, you may be wondering what your partner thinks of you, and if they've given any thought towards developing your relationship even further. How do you fully decipher your emotions? Here are 10 signs to tell if you're falling in love. 1. You find yourself trying new things. When people fall in love, they often step out of their comfort zone and engage in activities or interests their partner favors. You find yourself curious to learn more about them, so you begin to participate in their hobbies or eat their favorite foods. This, in turn, also helps you remember important details about them. 2. You've been stressed lately. When people fall in love, they experience higher levels of the stress hormone cortisol. Perhaps you're thinking about how to impress your partner, causing you to feel a little anxious. You start to care more about how you present yourself or what to say when they ask you a personal question. It's normal to feel a mixture of nervousness and excitement when you're around your partner, but having a degree of safety and trust is also essential. Make sure you're not anxious for the wrong reasons, such as worrying about when your partner will text you back or whether or not they're cheating on you. If you find that you're anxious over matters like these, then it's not an indicator of falling in love, but rather insecure attachment. 3. You feel motivated when you're with your partner. In the initial stage of falling in love, the part of your brain that releases dopamine becomes more active. This region is considered the reward system. When you find that being with your partner is a rewarding and fulfilling experience, you want to feed that instant gratification again and again by spending more time with them. Your life will generally be significantly better. Before, you might have found it difficult to wake up early in the morning, but ever since your partner entered your life, they have given you a reason to get up before the alarm even goes off. 4. Your partner returns the same feelings as you. You know that you like your partner, and your partner likes you back. Although liking isn't as strong or equivalent to love, people have to like each other first before they fall in love. When you and your partner like each other, it encourages the both of you to form a deeper bond. People fall in love only when they discover the true layers to their partner's personality. Forming a better understanding towards one another and discovering that those connections bring the two of you closer is an essential ingredient to love. 5. You miss your partner when they're not around. The more you miss your partner, the more committed you are to them. If your partner is constantly on your mind, even when they're not around, you're most likely falling in love with them. When two people miss each other when they're apart, it reflects how interdependent their lives have become. 6. You fall in love frequently, and this feels familiar. If you fall in love often, then you're less likely to miss out on finding the real deal. If the feelings you're developing for your partner feel similar to what you've experienced when you fell in love in past relationships, then chances are that is exactly what is happening now too. Don't overthink or try to understand your feelings too much. Instead, embrace and listen to them. You're more likely to figure out what your heart is telling you that way. 7. You're investing more time to be with your partner. People who fall in love invest more time and energy into making their partners an active part of their lives. It helps them stabilize the interdependence that leads them closer towards commitment. Especially if you're a busy person with a packed schedule, if you find yourself creating space to be with your partner more, then there's a good chance that you have serious feelings for them. 8. You celebrate your partner's accomplishments, even as you're struggling. When you really love someone, their success and happiness is important to you. You see the potential in them and want to support them every step of the way, no matter how challenging the journey can be. You can never let them fall behind, because you believe in them. When they finally achieve their goals, you couldn't be more proud of them, even if you're struggling and failing to make your own dreams a reality. There's no jealousy or competitive urge to top them, because their happiness has become a priority to you. 9. You find yourself growing ever since you got to know your partner. You feel like a different person now, someone who is better and more confident than before. When people fall in love, their whole sense of self transforms. They may replace bad habits with healthier ones, or take on new traits. When you fall in love, you find yourself changing, because you're receptive to the ways in which they encourage you. 10. You're tempted to say, I love you. If you find yourself wanting to say these words to your partner, that's probably how you feel about them. Some people might be reckless and quick to say this phrase without actually meaning it. But if it's something that's been on your mind for a while, and you've been trying to find the right time to say it, then you've probably fallen in love. 
The reason why you might be stalling, however, is because you're unsure of how your partner will react. Don't let that hold you back though. Be brave and take the chance to confess how you feel. There's always going to be a degree of risk when love is involved, but ultimately, you'll be glad you did it. For those of you who believe you've fallen in love, when did you start realizing it? Are there any other signs you think we missed? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. On a side note, Psych2Go is planning to make some cool merch for you guys, and we're taking suggestions, so let us know if you have any ideas in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out our website and other social media, as well as our new Patreon account for more content. And don't forget to subscribe! Thanks for watching!